Hey guys, um, today I'm fixing to clean my 200 gallon fish tote again. Uh, this is something that we should take real serious. I had filled it up, I've cleaned it, but it had uh, still had obviously a film or something in it and it clouded up all my water. Um, my plants were stunted, my fish wasn't eaten, so I had to dump my whole system, everything. Um, start all over, swirl filter, everything, sump tank, and uh, now I got everything running back, so now it's time to clean the, the tote again. Um, you know, whenever you're working, you're always in a hurry. So, you know, I rinsed it, I washed it, I let it sit for a couple weeks, and then threw it in here. Well, it should have been done a little different. So, now I'm going to go get a brush, and some bleach, and some baking soda, and some hot water, and start over. Oh, this is something we should take a little more serious, I guess. But everything's back going. And uh, things are growing, but now I need to get some fish. I got some fish coming. The other fish I had in there I gave away. So it's time to get ready for springtime and get started. Okay, so I've kind of brushed off all the excess here. That was uh, on the sides, you know, just regular as do. Now I'm gonna empty this and um, go mix up a bleach and soap solution, and we'll add some more water after I pump this out, and then it's gonna be good. All right, we're back. Um, boy, I sure wish I'd have did this from the start. Trying to wash this out, it's kind of a pain. Um, getting the pumps to work, then got a bath early this morning. So what I did, I don't know the recipe, but I took a measuring cup and uh, I put some dish soap on the bottom and I filled the rest up with bleach. We're gonna pour that in. And I'm heating up some water. And I'm going to, once I get all, probably about 30 gallons in it, I'll start washing it with the brush. See if I can break that film away. You know, when you buy these totes, you're told that they're food grade and such and such, but without labels, you really don't know where they come from and uh, what was in them. So, you know, if you can find some with labels so you actually know they're food grade, or if not, at least you know uh, what you have to do to get them clean. Okay, I've, I got soap all over the place. Anyway, all the soap and bleach has been removed. I've warmed up some water and uh, I just turned the pump on itself and washed it all out, scrubbed it. So now I'm fixing to get some baking soda and uh, maybe a little Epsom salt just because. Put it in there and do the same thing, scrub it all in, neutralize it. All right, we're done uh, sanitizing and cleaning. I got it filling back up. Um, I won't hook it back into the system. It goes into the swirl here. I won't hook it back into the system for about two weeks. So I'll let the water sit. I'll put the aerator in, and then uh, in about oh six weeks, I'll probably put the fish in. All right, I hope this helps. Uh, definitely don't do it the way I did it. Try to clean it before you put it in the system. Um, or better yet, just take it to the car wash. That's what we're planning on doing with these totes here. I have five more and I'm taking them to the car wash where I can use their water, their soap, it's hot and make a mess there. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's how I clean mine. 